Hello everyone, today we're going to be learning this really easy text particle animation, exactly like in the preview. It's quite simple, but it takes a bit of fiddling around to get it, so let's jump right in to learn how to do it. So we've just got a new PowerPoint here, and what you're going to do is just change the layout to blank. We're going to duplicate the slide it'll make it a bit easier to work around with later you can do this later but it's easier to work with too and then we can put a text box in there and we're just going to write text i think Arial black looks best for this um and it's the easiest to um um to reference off at, because we're not actually going to be using this text in the animation it's just helpful to get a reference um when we're making the the particles so we're just going to input some some um, boxes hopefully the font you're using doesn't have too many curls or anything like that because that will make it really difficult to to block out and we're also going to turn this text to red just so that and then we're going to take change this to black because that's what it's going to be just so that we can see the blocks against the text so here we're just gonna um make it we're just, i'll just show you how to do the t first and we're just going go here um and we're just going to copy and paste this and a really easy way to do this is to go control shift which will copy it as you drag but it'll keep it aligned with the object that you're copying like that see you can see i can't move off even if i move my mouse up and down and then you can also go up if you want but we're going to the side and we're just going and we're just going to lock that in right there and then we're going to copy this to the side over there and there we go now another cool tip is that after you do this control shift what you can do is control Y, which will repeat the action, which makes that T, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the E and the T, and we'll leave the X for I want to show you how to do that, um, because it'll be a bit harder to use blocks for that. Um, so let's just speed ahead the E and the T. Now we're going to take this X and work out how to do this. So it's not actually too hard, but you need to know how to use some things in the shape formatting tool, uh, mainly this merge shapes tab over here. You can see right now it's faded out because you have to select two objects to get this right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a text box. We're just going to take a text box, uh, sorry, not a text box, a, um, a square and just go over that X. Okay. Now um, we're going to, just click on both the objects and then go merge shapes and then go intersection okay so what we've got now is just this x as a shape not too hard to get and now what we need to do is we just need to get another two two um squares and we're just going to put that in the corners of the x and you can just zoom in to get this correct proportions you can take off the shape outline to get it perfect there we go so that's in the center of that x and this is in the center of that that corner there and then you can again control shift and then get that down and then control shift these down here and you might need to just make this a bit longer at the end okay now what we're going to do is we're just gonna make these a bit longer as well um, and then we're gonna highlight these like these all the five of these five objects go shape format and we're going to use the merge shapes again but this time we're going to use fragment okay now when we click on the fragment we can delete these outer shapes and you can see we've got actually two sh uh, even three shapes here um two shapes there's just this extra shape that we don't need in the middle there and we can just align that there um and then we're gonna have to do that again um one there no outline and then again at the bottom here um and this time we're just gonna highlight those go fragment Oh, um, this one wasn't, wasn't long enough at the top. Uh, there we go. And then we're again going to press fragment and then delete these outer edges. And then you can see we've got two shapes right now over here. And then we can do the ones over here on this side by going outline. Go up. Make it a bit bigger than we actually need it. Um, and then co copy that down over here. 
And then now we're just gonna highlight all of them and then go fragment okay and then delete those and you can see we've got three objects we can we can make these black now and then we can also just stretch this up a bit just make sure that it's correct there's just this there's just a problem with this right now which you can fix really simply by just going and creating a, a quick box over here i'm not sure what's what the problem is um there we go so there's the extra shapes so we've now got our x our x which is perfectly fragmented um you can do these for other letters like um like p and other letters that aren't like proper boxes but that's it for this text so we've now got them all fragmented perfectly now what we're going to do is just highlight everything or you can go Control a a if you want um and then go Control v and then we've got the text in here just all the boxes here okay now what we're going to do is what uh, we're going to just go and fragment these all out so we're just going to pull them out so for example this this t would go over here and then maybe this would go up and then maybe this would come uh, from from come uh, from from the side over here and then this could come from the bottom this could come from even further behind um, now what you want to do here is just make sure that this isn't like ahead of this because otherwise It'll look like this gets there before, um, but you can just play around with what you want. So this would come from over here, from the bottom, from over here, from the side, from up at the corner, over there, over there. And you can just keep doing this. And now we'll just speed up the rest of the work. Okay, so I'm done with that. I hope you are too. If you've got a longer word, it might take a bit more time. But trust me, the animation looks really good at the end. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go transitions and add this morph. So I use this morph actually a lot when we do um, these animations. Uh, and it's actually really good because it means you don't need to track every single one of, single one of these animations using a move. Um, it just does it all between each slide, which is really good. Uh, and we can actually change, play around with the duration. I like it a bit quicker, so 0.5 is, is good for me. And then we've got that cool particle coming together, like pu um, putting the word together animation, which looks really good as a um, reveal text. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Um, also, if you subscribe, you can um, put down in the comments, or even if you're not subscribed, you can put down in the comments um, some video ideas that you don't like me to cover, and I'll try and see if I can do some of those. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.